Hello, welcome back. So, we're going to be making this super fun um, vinyl, leopard, vinyl, Milky Way, glitter combination uh, look here. I had this idea and I wanted to see it come to fruition, so here we go. So first we're going to start off with Fire It Up, Chunky and Fine from the Glitter Ranch. We're also going to be using Royalty, Chunky and Fine. And then later on, we're going to be using the 1776 when we do the actual Milky Way part of the cup. found this um, vinyl off of 95 Vinyl. And I loved that it was red, white, and blue. But I wanted to make sure... I was going to wrap it around the cup but I, I wanted to make sure that I got the actual like blue and red stripes with the white and so I decided that I would just slice it and use it like a you know a stripe in a Milky Way so instead of doing like leopard spots and doing you know the whole glitter thing or whatever I just thought we could use this in place of that but I wanted to make sure that it went on the cup just right. So this is kind of what I came up with. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe there's an easier way, but this just made sense in my head. And so this is how I ended up doing it. So I took several trial runs with um, wrapping this around and trying to fit it on there just right so that both pieces would kind of fill up the cup so that there wasn't too much too many spots open I didn't mind if there was um spot like like a line in the middle because we were going to put glitter in between those two but I kind of wanted them to kind of wrap in one direction so this is this is what I actually came up with and this is what I thought made it to where the blue was on one side and the red was on the other and then the white was kind of um, kind of shadowed on each side so you got that red white and blue look to it so I hope all that makes sense I to me like I said in my head it made sense the way that I was doing it made sense um, if you find an easier way let me know <laughs> but this is what this is how I came up with it and I did do a couple of trial runs I kind of wrapped both of them around before I decided that and I I kind of measured with just the paper itself and kind of bent it so that I knew where um, each little spot would end up. If that makes sense. I don't know. I need to stop saying if that makes sense because you're not actually here to tell me if it makes sense or not. But anyways, uh, <laughs> but that's kind of what I did there with both of those stripes. And when I was trimming the top and the bottom, it didn't matter because I was going to be putting glitter on the bottom and the top or in the middle. I mean, not the top, but the middle. Um, and so the top, I just sliced off really nicely and we were going to trim up the, uh, you know, trim up the rim anyway. So we, I, it was going to be fine with just slicing it right on the top there like that because we were going to get a nice line once we did the, you know, dremeled and did the rim and everything so it, it, it all it all actually really turned out really cute and I mean, like I said it, it was it was just kind of in my mind I was like I want to make sure that I have the blue and the red and I wanted them to be representative of the leopard and so that when it kind of is the Milky Way with the leopard print anyways I think it turned out really super cute and I'm very excited with the end results and we will just look at some of this wrapping of this <laughs> and I will stop talking and we will go on to the next step which is putting on the white for the Milky Way.
Okay, so I took um, just a tiny bit of epoxy that I had left over from epoxying some cups. And um, I just put it on just like I would normally put on for uh, any kind of glittering for any kind of tumbler. Um, I didn't heat it up or anything, but I did just kind of try to smooth it on there as much as possible. Just a thin, thin, thin coat. And so this right here, I just kind of kept this at the same speed because I wanted to show you just how slow and careful I was to put this on because we do have epoxy all over this entire cup at this point. So I took my time and followed the line so very, very carefully because I didn't want any of that glitter plus because it was chunky. And I was using the bigger spout, so a lot more glitter can come out. So I was just ever so carefully taking my time and tapping it very gently and just following that line right next to that blue. Um, so just be careful when you're doing something like this. If you want it all over, then do it all over. But the whole point of it was to keep a portion of it um, the glitter and then the rest of it in the vinyl so that's why I wanted to show you this particular clip so this one I sped up a little bit but this was just me taking the fine royalty and filling in just a little bit um, in that chunky just to kind of make sure we get a complete look on that so here, once again, I sped this up just to save time, but I was taking my sweet time just like I was on the blue and going very slow because you could see right there, I kind of had a little oopsie with um, some of the glitter falling out. So I was trying to take my time and be as slow and careful as possible. So once again, using the fine cut of this glitter, I just filled in um, along that line there as carefully as possible to fill in the um, just any gaps and that kind of thing. But I did decide that I was going to use the red on the bottom. I don't know why in that moment I just felt like the bottom needed to be red. And so... I decided that that was what I was going to do. So I just poured a bunch of it out and then put it in there. But I didn't actually put that much epoxy on the bottom because I wasn't thinking at the time that I was putting the epoxy on that I was going to 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 put glitter on the bottom. So just be aware of that. If you are going to do that, be aware. So I did have a glove sitting there and I just picked it up and used it to pat down the glitter. Uh, normally I would probably use a piece of parchment paper, but I just had that glove sitting there and so it just made sense to do it. But I would not roll this in the parchment paper because you do have epoxy on the rest of the cup. So I did take this outside and I sprayed it three times with that gloss clear um, over the vinyl, the glitter, everything. I just, I sprayed it three times. I waited about 10 or 15 minutes in between each coat. So here I am prepping for the Milky Way part. Um, I'm just getting all of my uh, glitters and micas there ready for when I mix up the white mixture that we're gonna put on for the Milky Way. So here I am prepping the cup. So when I do epoxy, I pretty much do ounce for milliliter. So if I'm doing a 20 ounce cup, I'm gonna do 20 milliliters on the cup. Now that pretty, it's pretty much standard going through all of the layers that I put on a cup. And throughout this, I am just making sure that none of that glitter is coming off and going really far astray. I don't mind if some of it moves a little bit and some of it did kind of go into different sections, but I just, I'm just kind of watching it to make sure that I don't have just crazy glitter all over the place. So I just took my time and just put a nice generous coat, like I said, um, covered the bottom and the top and all of that. And then I just let it spin and just let it kind of even out and just kind of get dispersed around the cup. And then I do a little bit of a heating on it. So while that's spinning and kind of evening, and evening e even like uh, leveling out, maybe that's a better word for me right now. Anyways, I took just um, probably about five, maybe milliliters. I knew I wasn't going to be doing that much. So I just took 
of the a minimal amount and I put a little bit of this white to blue mica powder from the glitter ranch just because I wanted I didn't want it to be like serious white 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 I, I wanted it to have a little bit of a, a shimmer and there is a red to white but it had it was a little bit it, it goes a little pink and so I thought the blue would be a little bit better and then I, I took hip swing there and put that in as well so just to add some shimmer to it and this I love doing this in all of my Milky Ways I take some of the mica and then I'll add some kind of glitter additive in there and it works out beautifully so I decided as I was mixing it that it needed to be just a tad bit more white I just felt like it was a little too uh, transparent so I add a little bit of this resin dye in there I mean you could add white alcohol ink or acrylic paint if you wanted but the resin dye I feel is a little bit um, less I guess serious like a less less deeper in its consistency so I thought that that would be the better choice but um, if you put just a tiny bit of something in there I think it would be okay but I would definitely kind of try it out just a little bit before you go and commit to that so at this point it's probably been spinning for probably about 10 minutes or so so I just went straight into putting this white in, along the edge there and I just stayed right on the edge of the glitter and that was kind of where I wanted it to be. I, I wanted that leopard to be open and kind of clean. I didn't want too much distraction from that. So I just focused on the edge of the glitter. And I only used five milliliters. I really didn't even use that much of the five millimeters. So I just pretty much that was all I wanted to do and so right after that I took my heat gun and I just heated up all of those little spots and just got a got movement in them um, I didn't want too much movement but I wanted I didn't want any big globs so I kind of went back through and took my little spatula there and just smeared off where I thought I didn't like the spot so that is totally um, up to you on how you want the look to come out um, but I just wanted just some white stripes there wasn't too much white here but I didn't want like crazy white but I just just wanted to kind of break it up a little bit in doing the Milky Way so there I'm just taking the 1776 and I am trying to focus on putting it in the white but I mean obviously that it's not going to be exact but that's where I was aiming if you will <laughs> to put it in the white part but it just gave a little bit of something along the edge there and then I just took these little stars that I've had for a while I got them at a little place by my house um, you could use any kind of stars, four point stars, anything you wanted. I just thought stars needed to be on there since we've got red, white, and blue. So I thought stars were appropriate. So once again, I was just aiming for the white and along the glitter area to kind of keep the stars there. But they did land other places, but it's okay. It's a Milky Way. It's supposed to be organic in its look. So uh i thought I'd, i had a lot of fun doing this so i let it spin for a while and i just watched it and i made sure that any kind of placement of any glitter wasn't too crazy i moved things around and just um, smeared a little bit of the white as it was moving i i just spend a little bit of time on these just to make sure that the look is the what i had in my mind or the look is actually coming along even better than I thought or you know one of those types of things they got on the bottom so I was kind of scraping it off the bottom so you just have to be careful with these they'll they'll they will go places where you don't want them to go so that's why I have a tendency to babysit it for a little bit and after that layer cured I went in with two more coats of epoxy to get it nice and smooth before I went into the next step of sanding 
So I did take this outside and I did the Dremel around the edge. And what I'm doing now is taking my sanding block because sometimes you still get a little bit of hard or, you know, pokey bits on the top. So I just take the sanding block and make sure that it's as smooth as it can be on the top. On the bottom here, I go up and down. So or I go straight across and up and down. So on the, on the bottom, I take it and go straight across, straight across. And then on the side, I take it up and down, up and down. And uh, I don't angle it too much until after I've done that. And then I'll angle it just a little bit and get around the edge. And that will kind of help you with not sanding too much of that edge and getting yourself into trouble and going too far into the glitter or down to the stainless steel. So just take your time on that. And then I just went around the cup, as you can see, and sanded wherever it needed to be. You've got chunky glitter on there. So, you know, things happen. So I measured this at about three inches because it was going to be a big um, word, a big wording piece that I had that I was making. And um, it was also going to have an offset. So I allow for a little bit more extra or I, I kind of measure it a little bit bigger if it has an offset because the actual word part is going to be smaller. So anyways, I used this blue holographic and this red holographic and this silver holographic that I found at the store by my house but this these are easy to find you will be able to find them somewhere on Amazon or at another shop so I designed this um, I know it's not a popular thing as far as born on the 4th of July but I actually do have one of my very good friends was actually born on the 4th of July and her birthday is obviously coming up and so when I made this I thought of her and I thought you know I'm gonna I'm gonna have fun with this and do a little born on the 4th of July so I can put this decal in my group and you can go on there and grab it if you want. I don't know if everybody would want something like that on there because born on the 4th of July, but you know, it's fun. It's a song, right? It's an old song. So anyways, I can put it in my, um, on my, in my group. And if you want it, let me know and I'll put it in there so y'all can have it. But anyways, like I said, I designed this so... Um, I thought it was really fun. I took like white and red and blue and kind of made it, you know, very patriotic and then used that holographic vinyl on underneath. The, so for this particular font it has stars on it. So the stars came through as, um, pretty cool you know, holographic stars. So here I was taping down this piece. It doesn't tape down all that well, but it did kind of keep it in place so that I could put this July on there. So sometimes, you know, if you can do that, just put a little piece of tape down. It'll help it kind of keep it in place if you're trying to build up an offset um, decal there. So I just continued to build this up while it was taped down. So I just put you know each little piece there in different colors and I did um, weld those pieces together so that they would stay in the right place so I wouldn't have too much trouble building that back up so the TH in the fourth had these tiny little stars because I used the same font as the July and all the little stars were getting caught up in my blade now this will happen to you sometimes and just take the blade off and kind of clean it off and you can see if you have um, if something's not cutting right sometimes that can be the reason why so I went back and I cut it again it was not working it was too small the little th was too small so I just took a very similar font that didn't have the stars in it and I cut it all and I just used it that way because the stars were not working and those in that tiny little T in the H. It was just too close to the edge of the top of the T. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that little clip of cleaning out your blade because that does happen and you can, you're like, why is this thing not cutting right? And bam, it's because you've got little chunks of vinyl or whatever in there. Before you apply vinyl, I don't care if you just washed it, 
just wipe it down with alcohol use a little um, coffee filter there and wipe it down with alcohol and put that decal on there and after that I sealed it with Mod Podge and put one last coat thick nice thick coat of epoxy and there she is so cute I love 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 that this came out the way that I thought it would and the way that I wanted it to I am so very happy with it I hope that you enjoy your 4th of July and um, join my group if you make one let me know post it tag me and I will see you next time